All right, hello guys. Um, so today in class, I'm not here, but I thought it would be really great for you guys to work on counting um, all the different rhythms that we have had lately with Swahili folk hymn and now with Harry Potter. Um, we need to work on ace notes and ace rests, okay? So this is your handout you're gonna be getting. I've made a few little notes up at the top that I'd like you to look at. Okay, so first of all, um, in the directions, what we're going to do is be writing 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and under the appropriate notes for each measure. So that means that each measure has to have four beats in it. Okay, so before we start, it's really helpful to remind ourselves the value of each of these types of symbols. Okay, so we have our quarter note, which has one beat, but one beat is actually made up of two different parts or two different eighth notes. And if this was falling on the first beat, we would say one and, okay? And the quarter note, the quarter rest, I'm sorry, is also equal to one whole beat, but remember, one whole beat equals two parts, two eighth notes. So we would have to say one and, okay? We have our eighth rest here, which is equal to a half of a beat. So we remember we would need two of these to make one beat. Same thing with the half note, okay? The half note here, um, gets only half of a beat, so we would need two of those to make a beat. Or we could combine this and that together, a half note and a rest to combine, to make one beat. Um, one more thing is our dotted quarter note. So our dotted quarter note has three eighth notes in it. It's equal to three beats, three eighth notes, sorry. And so we would say one and two on that type of a note. Okay, so if you would like to copy this on the top of your paper, please feel free to do that now. Okay, and moving on, we're going to go to the first measure. The first measure, we're going to write 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and in, but we have to write them under the right notes. Okay, so let's start off with um, our first beat here. Okay, we have one and on the quarter note because it has two parts to it. All right, we move on to the second beat, which is our eighth note and eighth rest. So we have two and there. Together, they make up the whole second beat. Our third beat is three and, and that's the whole third beat, those two notes together. We have another quarter note for the fourth beat, but because we need the practice, we're going to say four and on that, okay? You'll be completing each measure, okay? by writing one and two and three and four and in each measure, even if there's quarter notes and even if there's half notes. For instance, here, you would write one and two and, okay? Just so we can see where the beats are. A little further down the page, we have a kind of a tricky rhythm here. This is our syncopated rhythm. So I'm gonna show you how that one works. So we're gonna write one, here we have and, two, okay, and now we're on three and four, two, one and two, whoops, I'm sorry, I have made a mistake. I don't know why I did that, okay. So it's okay, see, I'm, I'm not perfect, okay. One and two, then we have and three, and, four, and, okay? That's a pretty tough little one. You can take a look at that, okay? And again, you know, you have to really think about some of these rhythms. Okay, so you're gonna complete the rest of that page, okay, all of those measures. Once you're done with that, the section in the bottom, okay, is there for you as well. And what you'll be doing is writing rhythms for each measure using only quarter notes, dotted quarter notes, eighth rests, eighth notes, and quarter rests to equal four beats in each measure, okay? And I think you have 16 measures to complete. Also, please put your name on the bottom of the paper right here. Okay, thank you so much, have fun. And please uh, do this in class and then we will turn it in next time I see you. Thank you very much, bye-bye.